Congrats to the outstanding boxer getting back on the proven ground here tonight. And I know in his last fight he got a little bit sensitive because we talked so much about his hands. He's a layered mixed martial artist, but certainly boxing has been his foremost skill, at least thus far in the U.S. What's his bread and butter? When he's doing his best work, it's behind the hands. It's behind the setup. And we as broadcasters have seen enough of the sport at the highest level and boxing to know that that is the path that he has shown. That is the path that he has chosen. His footwork, his speed, his face, his setups, they are all boxing-centric. So we call him a boxer, and guess what? Take pride in that. You're one of the best in the UFC at using that skill. His jab is great, but he has told us this week he believes that the knockout's going to come with that patented left hook. We'll find out here in a matter of moments. Introductions. We go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. Good. All right, round one underway. This man is all the rage. The Korean Superboy, Duho Choi. Very difficult challenge for the opponent here tonight. This is an outstanding first round fighter. Outstanding fighter overall. But the fight time of the UFC, not a lot, because more often than not, he gets the opponent out of there in round one. Oh, nice job to block that punch. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. That is a damaging kick that lands. Oh, as good a counter striker as there is in the game. Straight right is good. He just hurt him with a left hook. Yep. Oh, overhand lands. That'll leave him up. So more output, at least in the early going. Oh, good vision defensively. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Oh, beautiful lead kick is good there by Perry. Good 
throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Nice shot over the top there. He's got some hands, man. Gets to the single column time. to start to trickle down could compromise his vision here moving forward. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, found the target there with a straight right counter. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevented from landing. Just over two minutes, round one. Oh, beautiful jab there by Platinum Mike Perry. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Because right now, he seems lost to it. And blocks that hard punch. Nice straight punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. One minute to go here in the opening round. Going to the body now with that hook. Well placed there by Perry. All right, there it is. Yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on his body. Well, you can tell that he had a purpose to come out here, make an investment, and see how it would play out. It seems to be working right now. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Nicely done to the body. And yet another hook connected there by Short. Just misses with the jab there. Final seconds here. Beautiful kick to the body. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, heading back to the corner now, and we will keep a close eye on things. Perry's got a nasty cut above the eye. The cut man has some work to do here between rounds. Well, if you like blood, maybe this is the fight for you because blood has really become a factor, and it's a cut that appears to be right above his eye. That's one of the worst spots for you to get a cut because then the blood starts to come down and it goes into the eye. It's difficult already to see, but when you got one of the best mixed martial artists in the world targeting it, it becomes impossible. They call that the trickle-down effect. That's what that is? That's Ready right. to fight. <laughs> Ready. Round two here. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, and he lands another pinpoint counter. He has done an excellent job, seemingly all night, remaining patient, waiting for his opponent to strike first, and timing his counters perfectly. He clipped him with the right hand there. Perry's keeping those feet in perpetual motion, circling to his right now. Straight right is there. Body kick is brushed. And the strike lands clean. Nice punch to the head. Oh, 
Oh, he continues to find the range with another punch there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Uppercut to the head. Punch coming, it's blocked. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Platinum gets caught by that straight hand. Well, you gotta think he's gonna enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and Really, a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the office. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to Zoom right now and firing up a video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting out. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Choi's punch to the body there. Doesn't get there. Nice job by the defense to block the shot. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Finish, finish. Big shot to the head. Oh, man, he landed another punch to the head. Great block there. Under two minutes to go. Nice one-two combination there. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Perry. And again. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Keep the pressure on. Just misses with the left hook. Ooh. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Harry strike attempt there is blocked. Flips the punch nicely there. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Final seconds here. Two rounds in the books. Stop, stop, stop. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, and being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. Ready, Ready. Third round underway. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect the fighter to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. we still right on the start. That flying knee to the head landed. 
Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Oh, man. Terry's eye is closing up. Huge kick lands again. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Perry. He looks like Pac-Man. He's taking so many strikes to the head. Nice body kick there. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Circling away towards the left now. Oh, collar tie. Under three minutes now to go in the round. And that one certainly found the target. Choi's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. So an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to move heel with every pen. He should have gotten the fight finished at that time. Big shot lands for both guys. Back to the jab now, no good. Fight IQ, perhaps it's obvious, but he is attacking that cut that is getting deeper by the minute. And it seems like the right decision because you can see his opponent starting to paw at it. You can see it starting to take an effect. It's messing with him mentally. For him, he's got to continue to attack that area and hope that it just keeps getting worse and worse. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. 90 seconds to go now. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. All right, so you can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands yet another strike, and that one was clean. I mean, this guy is so clean with his strike. He knows exactly what he wants to accomplish, and he does a great job of doing just that. Under a minute to go. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done, though. Hands high, hands All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Sets up that leg kick beautifully. Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. Choi's eye is starting to swell shut. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement right. there. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, sit down. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward.
All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. Ready He's got fight. an uphill battle ahead of him. Ready. Good. Fourth round. That's scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, next round is underway, and both fighters still look pretty fresh to me, DC. Maybe, maybe they're doing your sprint workouts during training camp or something. I mean, these guys are known for working very, very hard. Both of them make cardio a very key factor in their preparation, and it's showing on both sides of the octagon. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Oh, nice body shot. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Choi's taking aim at that cut right now, DC, and you got to admire the fighter IQ, right? Might as well keep landing strikes on a target that you have damaged repeatedly throughout the fight. Both guys appeared to land there. Good straight hand there by Choi. Lands a jab. Nice job blocking that punch. Harry's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. Oh, huge Superman punch. Collar tie here in the clinch. Under three minutes now to go in the round. He's got a good leg kick. There it is. Well, he is clearly faded in this one. I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. Joy gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. So I'm gonna hit you and then you hit me. Back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've called all year. Yeah, one of the best fights. And it, it, the, the blood, the injuries only add to the entry. It only adds to who's gonna continue down the path and get the hand raised. Both of these guys are so tough. They really have laid it on the line. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Just misses with the straight right. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And blocks the shot there. Just miss with that right hand. Harry's being very intentional with his strikes here, targeting that eye that is already swollen on the opposition. Man, that cut is just nasty. So if you're the guy who cleans up the canvas, are you like rooting for this so you have a job to do? I mean, you want to do less as possible. You want to just sit there and watch. The reality is, though, he's got some work in front of him after this fight. And so does the cut, man. We are bloodied and battered here in the octagon. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. All right, big storyline starting to develop here. That cut really starting to gap wide open as this fight continues. And you can watch him. You see him. You can see it becoming his focus as he's popping him on that cut. And it's starting to open up more and more as the fight moves along. Both fighters throwing heat now. Lands a right hand out of that exchange. Oh, 
beautifully placed with the hook there by Eric. Oh, he's bleeding like crazy, champ. The stream is steady. At what point do you at least call in the doctor to go to the car? You got to right now. I mean, right now, someone should be in here looking at how they can save this fighter from themselves. Nice elbow. I can't tell if that opened up a cut or not. 20 minutes down, five to go. Well, what a war of attrition this fight has been. Both fighters dealing with cuts, critical damage in the facial area. Something's got to give at some point. Yeah, these are the types of fights that we love. These guys are leaking everywhere. They're both trying to finish this fight. They're very evenly matched, and you can see it in the competition, but you can also see it in the damage that they're both showing. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cut. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. You ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round. Beautiful strike. Big power shot there. Oh, lands another hook. Going to the body now with that hook shot. Nicely done by Eric. All right, so when is too much too much? I mean, I'm not sure I need to see this fighter absorb any further damage here. Tonight. It's okay if his corner or the ringside position calls a stop to this thing. He has been battered, he has been beaten, and the result is not going to change. Oh, man, this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it come. Dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. Choi's eye looks so swollen now, you've got to at least speculate as to whether or not that is a fractured orbital. Gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Blocks the strike. Oh, oh, look at that gas. Platinum gets caught by that straight punch. Beautifully landed by the opposition. I mean, over and over, he is taking these strikes to the head. Oh, now going to the body with that hook. Nicely done there by the Korean Super Bowl. Nice punch here. Perry's eye. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, huge left. Right now. Clinch position. Beautiful elbow over the top. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. So under three minutes to go here in the fight. Oh, back to the overhand right. Swing and a miss. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence. And when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision, or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find Fight your back. shot. Fight back! Well, I'm not sure I've ever seen a referee call in a doctor for bodily damage, but I'm not sure how many more of these shots he should take these. He can't take many more shots. I mean, he is going to go down if he takes one or two more of these body shots. He has been thoroughly beaten to the body this fight. Hook shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Perry. Get the elbow. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Just out of the range with that right hand. Choi's face is a hot mess, man. That cut on his cheek is getting worse by the minute and worse with every strike landed by his opponent. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. 
It is hard to hear ourselves on the headsets. This place is going crazy after one of the best fights of the year. Both men put it all on the line. Just really a sight to behold from minute one of this fight. Well, they told us. They both told us. Strap in. This is going to be one of the best fights you've ever seen, and boy, has it delivered. We have seen blood. We have seen heart. We have seen spirit. We have seen these two lay it on the line against each other. But hey, it takes two to tango, and we had the two right guys in the octagon tonight to produce an instant classic. Oh, a huge block there. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Towers with a straight right hand. That'll work. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Oh, a hook to the head by the Korean Super Bowl. Man, that cut has really opened up. Lands a nice straight. Oh, now lands a kick to the body. Official decision now in after the five buffet. rounds. We go to the judges score cards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. For the winner by unanimous decision, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. Du Ho Choi is the name, ladies and gentlemen. A huge win for the Korean Superboy here tonight. And this is a kid who is just getting started. A scary proposition for the rest of this featherweight division. But we've already started to see major strides made when it comes to his skill development. This might be a UFC champion before it's all said and done.